welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that reduce 2x plus y minus 2z plus 15 is equal to 0 to the normal form and determine the length and the angles that normal makes with the axis, that is, the direction angles. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, the method to reduce the general equation of the plane to the normal form. Now let the general equation of a plane is Ax plus By plus Cz plus G is equal to 0 and The normal form of the given plane is Lx plus My plus Nz minus P is equal to 0 or you can write Lx plus My plus Nz is equal to P. Now if in this equation D is positive, then L is equal to minus A over square root of summation A square, M is equal to minus B over square root of summation A square, and M is equal to minus C over square root of summation A square. And if D is negative, then only we have to change the signs of all of these. Hence, the normal form of Ax plus By plus Cz plus D is equal to 0 is minus A over square root of summation a square into x minus b over square root of summation a square into y minus c over square root of summation a square into z is equal to d over square root of summation a square if d is positive and here this is the equation in the normal form that is Lx plus My plus Nz is equal to P where P is equal to D over square root of summation A square and these are the values of L, M and N. And this is the equation of the normal form of this plane when D is negative. And also here L is equal to cos alpha m is equal to cos beta and n is equal to cos gamma where alpha, beta and gamma are called the direction angles that is the angles which normal makes with the axis. And here summation a square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square. So this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now we have to reduce this equation to the normal form and also we have to determine the length and angles that normal makes with the axis. So given the equation of the plane to x plus y minus 2z plus 15 is equal to 0. Now here d is positive. So by using this result which is given in the key idea, we can reduce the equation of the given plane to the normal form. Now here square root of a square plus b square plus 
plus c square is equal to square root of now a over is 2, b is 1 and c is minus 2. So it will be equal to square root of 2 square plus 1 square plus of minus 2 square. Which is equal to square root of 4 plus 1 plus 4 which is equal to root 9. Now let this be equation number 1. Now the normal form of the plane which is given by equation number 1 is minus a that is minus 2 over square root of summation a square that is root 9 into x minus b that is 1 over root 9 into y minus c that is minus 2 over root 9 into z is equal to d which is 15 over square root of summation a square that is root 9 which implies minus 2 over 3 into x minus 1 over 3 into y minus of minus 2 will be plus 2 over 3 into z is equal to 15 over 3. So this implies minus 2 over 3 into x minus 1 over 3 into y plus 2 over 3 into z is equal to 15 by 3 which is 5. Now the equation of the plane is reduced into normal form that is Lx plus my plus nz is equal to t. Where l is equal to minus 2 by 3, m is equal to minus 1 by 3, n is equal to 2 by 3 and p which is the length of normal is 5. Therefore, the length of the normal that is P is equal to 5. Now we have L is equal to minus 2 by 3. Now we know that L is equal to cos alpha, M is equal to cos beta and N is equal to cos gamma where alpha, beta and gamma are the direction angles. So this implies cos alpha is equal to minus 2 by 3 which further implies alpha is equal to cos inverse minus 2 by 3. Now m is equal to minus 1 by 3. So m is equal to minus 1 by 3 implies cos beta is equal to minus 1 by 3 which implies beta is equal to cos inverse minus 1 by 3 and n is 2 by 3 so n is equal to 2 by 3 implies cos gamma is equal to 2 by 3 which further implies gamma is equal to cos inverse 2 by 3 hence length of the normal that is p is equal to 5 and the direction angles are alpha is equal to cos inverse minus 2 by 3 beta is equal to cos inverse minus 1 by 3 and gamma is equal to cos inverse 2 by 3. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.